This is the first video for section 1.3 on Eulerizing graphs. In this lecture, we'll talk about how to fix graphs that have odd degrees. So just to review, let's look at this graph here and ask ourselves, does it have an Euler circuit? What we've talked about previously is that what we have to do is look at each vertex in this graph and count up the degree of each vertex. And if we ever get an odd number when we do that, that means that the graph does not have an Euler circuit. So for vertex A, we've got two edges coming into A, that means A has degree 2. For B, we've got three edges coming into B, so B has degree 3, C has degree 2, D has degree 2, E has degree 3, and F has degree 2. And then what we're looking at here is that because we got two odd numbers, and really only one odd number would be enough, but because we got any odd numbers at all, that means this graph does not have an Euler circuit. So that means we know that we cannot find a way to walk along all the edges in this graph, return to our starting point without retracing our steps. But what if we want to continue the story? What if we want to say, OK, we know we can't do it with no retracing. So how do we do it with a minimum amount of retracing? How do we keep the number of times that we have to retrace our steps as low as possible? So what we're going to do is we're going to modify the graph. And, and I call this fixing the graph. We're going to fix the graph by duplicating an existing edge. In this case, we're duplicating the edge from B to E. We're drawing a new edge that wasn't there before, connecting B to E. So why are we doing that? Well, remember, before we did this, the degrees were 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 2. But now that we've duplicated this edge, now instead of 3, the degree of B is now 4, because we added a new edge that goes into B. And instead of being 3, the degree of E is now 4, because we added a new edge that goes into E. And now all the numbers are even, which means we can find an Euler circuit for this graph. And as we saw before, when there is an Euler circuit, it's usually pretty easy to find. So just as an example, let's start at A, and I'm going to go, let's see, I'll go to B, and then I'll go over to C, I'll go down to F, go back over to E, I'll go up to B along that new edge, and then back down to E along the existing edge over to D, and then up to A. And that's an Euler circuit for this new modified graph. And again, there's many possible solutions, including this one. And here's just an illustration of it that has the edges numbered so that you can kind of tell the order. Again, another way that we can think about an Euler circuit is simply by listing the letters in order. So what does that have to do with the original problem? Remember, the original problem did not have that extra edge that we drew from B to E. So how do we take this solution that we got and relate it back to the original situation? Well, if we list the vertices on the Euler circuit that we found, which would be A and then B and then C and then F and then E and then B and then back to E and then D and then A, we can follow that list of vertices on the existing graph. That means that first we would go from A to B, second we would go from B to C, third we would go from C to F, fourth we would go from F to E, fifth we would go from B up to from E up to B, sixth that's our retracing, right? So we would walk along that same edge and retrace our steps, and then seventh we go from E to D, and then eighth we go from D up to A. So the graph on the left is an Euler circuit, but not for the original graph, for our new modified graph. The path on the right, that's not an Euler circuit, but it is a circuit that only has one retracing. So that's how we connect these things together. It's not quite an Euler circuit, but we can take the Euler circuit that we got in our modified graph and put it on the original graph, and every duplicated edge that we found is going to be a retrace of our steps. So here's the basic process for what I call Eulerizing graphs. So if a graph doesn't have an Euler circuit, in other words, if it has at least one vertex with an odd degree, we're going to Eulerize it by duplicating existing edges until all of the degrees are even. That new graph will have an Euler circuit, so we find that, and then we take that Euler circuit on the new graph and put it back onto the original graph. That's not going to give us an Euler circuit, but it's going to give us an Euler circuit that has a retrace for every edge that we created. And so if we want to minimize the retracing, we want to duplicate the fewest possible number of edges. So next time we're going to put this into practice. We've already done one example. We're going to do some more examples and see this in practice.